new at six. Some scary moments for a dog owner in Maryland. A pup is recovering after being bitten by a copperhead, a snake. This happened Saturday along the CNO Canal towpath. Scott Broom learned more about this dangerous encounter from the dog's owner and a vet. So this is the CNO Canal towpath here at Riley's Lock, where this shot of a venomous copperhead snake was snapped just seconds after this. <laughs> He was bitten by the copperhead on Saturday. We were unbelievably scared. Was this potentially life threatening for that dog? Yes, absolutely. Meet Zayner, his mom Inga Broerman, her son Augie Spenley, and life saving veterinarian Kelly Hinkle. And here is how this dog versus copperhead saga on the trail here went down on Saturday. We had walked for about a mile. He was on he was on the gravel, um, but there's a little bit of overgrowth. I didn't see the snake at first. I just saw him jerk backwards. And there was a nest of three of them. By the time I had seen the snake on the ground, it was he had already been bitten. Saner had to be carried back to the car. I had his front leg over this shoulder, um, his back legs over this shoulder. He was crying pretty hard in the car. And it's extremely painful. So Dr. Hinkle explained that most vets in the region, including her hospital, do not have snake venom antidote on hand because cases only come in once or twice a season. So with Saner on the exam table at Bennett Creek Animal Hospital in Clarksburg, there was a furious series of phone calls between vets. Anti-venom was found at a Frederick Animal Hospital. Amazing. Inga drove to get it and bring it back. Saner was saved. Today, his left leg remains badly swollen. But wait, there's more because this is the second time Saner has been struck by a copperhead in the past two weeks. See right there, you can see two fang marks. <laughs> there on his rear paw are two fang marks from a snake bite received at Cabin John Park, but in that case, no venom was transferred and the dog was okay. And copperheads, well, they are common in the region, but when it gets really hot, they go nocturnal. People don't really see them that often, except in the spring and fall, when they're more likely to be out trying to catch some sun. Saner's family hopes they never see one again. On the Sino Canal at Riley's Lock, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.